Hey guys and welcome back to another video and right now I've got here the PNY SST and we're gonna take a quick look and some speed test and comparison with the Samsung 840 EVO which is usually what I use on my machines decided to go with this one to test it out and well not bad at all so if you are in the market for an SSD stay tuned and check out this SSD Okay, and welcome back. So I'm not going to do any unboxing because uh, SSD unboxing <laughs> is quite uh, quite boring, and there's nothing else to do. Well, there's not not much to uh, to unbox. So just a regular SSD uh, was on sale, and actually this is what I'm using on my latest um, installment of Yosemite as you saw probably on my channel on the latest videos uh, great speeds and we're gonna compare it with the uh, Samsung 840 Evo so I've got four of these uh, right here on my home and uh, been great but I decided to give it a shot to PNY um, and so we're gonna share it with you and then you decide or not uh, what uh, kind of performance you're looking for more writes, more reads and then uh, just make your choice one thing it is the price is great uh, especially this is the 120 version especially when you scale to 240 uh, 480 and above uh, you're gonna see even though this is one of the cheapest with the great performance on the market uh, you will see some difference on this one and it has a really nice performance so let's cut the chit chat and by the way this is the the model is called the Optima um, PNY Optima uh, series. Let's just bring it a little bit closer to the camera. There you go. And let's take a look at the screen and what I have here right now. This is the Yosemite installed in my uh, on my PC. Uh, and this drive, actually, this drive is just for the Yosemite installation and all the apps. And that's it. So it's one more drive I can show you here. I've shown this on a uh, previous video about the Akintosh, some problems that I could solve. At the moment, I've got a lot of files here, so it's almost full. Uh, but as you can see, this is all my internal uh, drives. Uh, let's close this up let's take a look at the speed test so regarding the writes it will stay ab about 300 and something the reads uh, what I can tell you is that uh, a bit better than um, the Samsung so we are talking about average of 300 above 300 on re on write sorry and reads above uh, 500 uh, and what I can tell is that well sometimes fluctuate uh, fluctuate sorry uh, but it will be on this margin here let's just take one more look and there we go 200 and something 300 uh, now I'm gonna put and there it goes just went down to 250 uh, the reads never changes, always above 500, really, really nice. Um, okay, so here we are. Uh, what I can say, comparing one to another, and I'm going to place uh, right now, and this is more a reminder for myself, um, the reads and writes of the Samsung 840 EVO on the same machine, just the operating system is, is different, it's Windows 8. Uh, but as you can see the reads of the Samsung are uh, a bit below uh, the writes are uh, somewhere about the same the first write is always uh, above 400 but then it goes it goes down so what I can say is that the PNY uh, compared to the Samsung 
is, and I'm not going to say which one is better because it's going to be uh, a matter of choice, I guess. Um, and Samsung, what I can say is that it's very rea reliable. This one I only had for about a mon month, month and a half, something like that. So I expect the same duration as one of these, but only time can tell. Uh, what I've seen so far is that this one has reads and writes, um, the reads are uh, more fast than, than the Samsung, uh, writes are above the sa about the same, but it's more constant. Uh, Samsung goes uh, or gives different numbers on the, uh, especially on the on the right, uh, gives fluctuates uh, a, a bit above and below and above and below. Uh, PNY doesn't do that. Um, really surprised. Um, really nice uh, SSD for the price that it costs. Uh, this one was about fifty euros 55 euros something like that i will post the links below and then you can check the prices and the availability so what i can say so far is that really happy with this guy here uh, i didn't want to buy a 240 uh, gigabytes just went with a 120 which is enough for what i have here but uh, once you scale on on the size of the gigabytes you will see a bigger difference between uh, prices of the ssd so probably 120 for Samsung 120 will save, I don't know, 5 euros, 10 euros, nothing really special. Uh, but if you go for the 240 gigs uh, version or 480 gigs version or something like that, you will save uh, more. So just check the prices. Uh, not going to do any more tests. What I can say is that it really um, speeds well. Just one more. Let's open an app here, for example, Photoshop. Open Photoshop, it's instantaneous. Okay, just went to the other screen. <laughs> um, let's close Photoshop once again. And if I open it here, it's instantaneous. Always uh, instantaneous on any app. Uh, if you want more info, all the videos that I have on the channel about the Akintosh is on this um, SSD, so you can see uh, the performance and how it uh, responds to the apps no errors everything fine um, and that is it so guys it is a great choice on the market if you are looking for an ssd a better experience for your computer if you haven't tried an ssd please do do yourself a favor and this is it i've got a few more things to record today hopefully this morning uh, so i'll see you soon bye bye